What's up guys, Daisy here and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Space Engine and trying to find a planet relatively close to Earth that has life on it. So let's get started here. Let's go back. Oh, there we go. Here's Earth. Got a comment right there, that's pretty cool. Pan stars. That's cool. Okay, so like I said, the goal is to find a planet. Let's let's just start by clicking on a random star, shall we? Uh, no, it's not F1. It's been a while since I played this. You're gonna have to bear with me here. <laughs> let's see here. Does this star have life? Mm, warm Oceana. Go visit this. Let's go see what this looks like. Now. I've been working on a few uh, space engine videos. One of my secret projects is actually a. Uh, whoops. What did I do? There we go. One of my secret projects that I've been telling you guys about if you watched the last few videos is a pretty awesome space engine video. I've been working on it actually for quite a while now. It just hasn't really come out to the effect that I wanted. I had to restart a few times on it and it's just. It's just gotten pretty annoying, if you know what I mean. So, let's see. Still trying to look for one that has a possibility of having life. No, none of those stars. Now, if you guys haven't heard about this game, it's basically a space simulator where you can click on any of the planets or any of the stars that you see in the sky, and you can basically go up to them. Now, some of them are actually real stars, but in the world we live in today, we've only found about <laughs> like 5% of the actual stars that are actually in the observable universe. Sorry. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to think about that, that we've only made it this far in how many could be out there. Ooh, Temperate Terra. Let's go check that out. Still haven't found one yet. Still looking for it. This one has pretty cool looking atmosphere still doesn't support life though uh, that's weird let's check this faint star out there see most of the planets that we find out there from Hubble and uh, the other stars that's a bright one are gas giants now, there's probably an explanation out there, but I just can't tell you it. <laughs> it's still haven't found one yet. There's a nebula. Ooh, we might have found one here. Ah, didn't find one, guys. So close. Warm Oceana again. No? Ooh, that's a cool. I think now that's the one we're on. What am I doing? Okay. Look there. Still, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I, I like a challenge. You guys can hear my mouse clicking in the background. I apologize for that. What it means, if you if you see this uh, thing on the top left corner here there's that means there's two stars it's called a oh we found one with life guys it's called a binary system now what that means is there's two stars in orbit around each other so this is a cool looking planet oh jesus this one has terrestrial life on it which is pretty cool um if you look on the bottom of your screen right now it'll, it'll be telling you how far away it is from earth uh, now this necessarily doesn't exist but like I said it randomly generates planets because we, like I said we've only seen so far into the observable universe universe so pretty, it's pretty cool but I think this is the one we're on no nope, this is another one this actually has two planets in here that have life and has like a nice little asteroid looking moon. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Well, let's try to find the... What's this? Is this another planet? Oh no, it's a bigger, bigger moon. That's pretty cool. Well guys, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know if you want more. This is these space engine videos. Like I said, I'll try to get that secret project I've been telling you guys about out, but it's going to take a little bit longer than I expected to. But yeah, if you would like more of these cool space engine videos where I try to find life, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, and you have a good day. Peace out.